Hey guys, welcome back. It's this is Average Gamer, and we are playing High. This was a game that was free on Epic Games a week or so ago, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And you play a main protagonist named Q. Uh, Hugh is the uh, he's a younger person in a small village that was developed on a cliffside. And Hugh's goal in this game is to help find his tribe a new home, because where they live currently is not safe for their people. Now, they were a very closed-off people. They did not realize there was much activity outside of their little world on this cliff. And Hugh has gone outside and discover, is now discovering the world, trying to learn its ways so he can make a place for his people. And that's what we're doing as we interact with new cultures, new species, discover new animals and plants and resources. And we're going to jump right back into it. This is the third episode. And if you've been watching, I hope you've enjoyed so far. Hugh's, it's been a fun game. Hugh seems like a pretty good guy, and he's encountered uh, at least one person that we've socialized with outside of his realm, and he's been very helpful. His name is Off, and he rides this cool little creature called an uh, Al alpifant or something like that. I don't know, but it's pretty neat looking. It's kind of like an alpaca and an elephant made babies. But... Uh, it's a really pretty game, a lot of fun. There's some crafting, uh, some survival elements, some fighting. Uh, it's got a little bit of a mix of everything, but hopefully you've watched a couple of the videos and you've seen what it is and are enjoying it so far. And I just want to go ahead and continue making this series as I play it so you can see what it's like. But if you haven't played so far, uh, you might want to go back and watch those videos so there's no spoilers. And we're going to jump right back in and get into Pine. Hope you enjoy. All right, so we were... Uh, we, we were kind of getting lost, just exploring around. Um, don't really know where I'm at at this point. But we have to discover new areas, gather things, make donations to the donation boxes, so new tribes... Oh, I know where I'm at. This is the first area we get to when we land in the out. Now, I came up here last time and there was two... Races fighting. It was this chicken race here fighting foxes. Oh, he is a bad guy. I protected him last time thinking the foxes were the bad guys. Now, I really need to get a new way to heal. Because I'm dead. Game over. Hugh's dead. Oh, what happens? Let's see. I haven't died yet, so I'm not sure what happens when you die. Apparently it loads for a long time after you die. Please don't start over again. Oh, I'll be so upset. Character starts in depots. That's interesting. Apparently it's spawning back from where I learned about donation box. Um, do I have the map? This looks about where I died, really. Look, those are the, the feather puffs, right? Are those the pink feather puffs? This is what they were scared of. They look like giant chickens. I'm gonna follow the giant chickens. Wait for me, my lovelies. I'm in Wedgewoods, I'm gonna get a wedgie. A wedgie in Wedgewoods. Wait for me, Puffball. I got you. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill it. I'm not going to kill it. Seems wrong. They're just out here chilling. I don't have to light any of the torches out here. They're all lit already. How's my... Ooh, I'm running out of space. I can't make anything new. I don't know how to discover new recipes or anything. I need... Oh, is that food? I need food. There's a roseberry food. Possibly. Oh, 
Oh, I found lots of rose berries. I wish I could save areas like that on the map. Oh, it's a mean chicken. Oh, are you a bad guy? Oh, you're a bad guy. Okay, so maybe I don't want to go that way. Let's go to the donation box that's marked on them. What's that? More wood. Gravel moss, gravel moss. Seems like a common resource now. And the lions. Goodness gracious. A lot of walking. What am I going to get my epic mount? I'm in that way. So you might connect to another area. Pouch full. Pouch full. Job done. I heard an elephant. Or an elephant. There's a mean bird. Don't kill me, bird. I'm not a bad guy, I swear. Why are you just going to attack me? Didn't attack you. Stop it. Look, I protected one of you earlier. You are a pain in my tuchus. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. That's it. You can't do nothing about it. Oh, gosh. He's still following me. Oh, goodness. He's still following me. Oh, there's another bird thing. He's still following me. I may or may not have found their village. Oh, I made a mistake. I found the chicken people. I am so sorry. Please don't kill me. Didn't know, I didn't know. Okay. So we found the scary bird people. They don't like me. Ah, oh, no, not another one. Why are y'all so angry? Just want some chicken. Save me, Fox. Save me. No, don't kill me. Alright, 
so I don't know what race this is. Or how to tell. Whatever the... Is that the chicken? It looks like an egg. I don't have any of that stuff. They don't want any of that. Sandstone. Sandstone I've got. I don't want to be hostile. <laughs> I don't know what Noctis is. I don't think I have any of that. I'm sorry. Stop trying to kill me. I don't want to die. So it's going to be a game of collection. Trying to find these things to appease them or learn how to make them. I don't even know how to find out how to make new things. How do we do that? Why did all these torches just turn off? Is it a daytime nighttime cycle thing? Some sort of creatures. Can't tell what. Oh, here's their donation box. Now they want a puffle egg. I had. Oh, I had a puffle feather. Yeah. They want rose berries. I've got those. I'm not hostile with someone. Can I go see you? Can I talk to you? Oh, are you the fox people? You be my friend? Explore the village to learn about its organization. Howdy. Okay, they look evil. Uh, they look like a, s a steampunk box. So it's an island. So I, they have a village trader that I can interact with. So maybe I can learn how to make new recipes. Come back and talk to him once I receive my shield. They're like little dog houses. Oh. Who are you? Are you the person I need to I guess not. So this is... This is the wealth of the population. It's a totem. And each one represents the strength of their village.
Okay, that's kind of neat. It's an economic tree. Interesting. I like that. That's an interesting concept. So these are their beds, I guess. Dog beds. And this is... Okay, this shows the relationship between each of these creatures. The ones in red are their foes. Green are their allies. I guess white's neutral. Okay. Oh, the relationships between species are dynamic, so they will change. That's kind of neat. So currently they are allied with the stags, which I don't think I've seen those yet. Let's see, I've seen the foxes and the birds. Have I seen anything else? I think that's all I've seen. Oh, I saw that stag in the distance that was going to chase me, but I kind of ignored. Traders will only trade with you if you are friendly. Neutral doesn't count. Hmm, that's going to take some work. When do I come back to my shield, though? Can't talk to your trader, jerk. What's that? Okay, that's another donation box over there. <laughs> Staying soon is good. So this is for the same people. Roseberry. Puffle eggs off glass. So I don't have anything with well. They have two donation boxes. Interesting. For these. Dune rice. What was that sound? Oh, I guess my shield's ready. How do I equip it? That's how. That's kind of neat. and pass between short cliffs and sparse fills. Alright, so the chief of whatever these people are has pointed me to a person that is familiar with human equipment and should be able to help me gear up. So we're going to try to see if we can find that person. I guess that's what he's marked on the map there. 
That's some new stuff. I don't know. No crafting. I don't know what to do with all the stuff in my inventory. A lot of junk. Let's see if I can figure out how to get where they want me to go. Looks like I should be able to just go up from here. Right? Too bad I can't use a mini map. I guess switching the map keeps me safe. There's a pyre. Okay, that's their donation box. right way. Yeah, what the heck? Figure it out. I like the world. It's pretty neat. Pretty big for an island, too, so far. I can live here. If my house doesn't fall off a cliff. I wonder. Is that our cliff? Yeah, that's our cliff around right there, I think. Hmm. I think world and game level development is an amazing part of making games. I just I can't imagine taking all that time to develop a world. It's gotta be a ton of work. Is my health degrade just walking? I'll have to forage. Oh boy. Look, chicken chicken strooper, I don't wanna fight you. So I found this off the road path. I'm gonna go this way. I feel safer than going this way. Is he still chasing me? No. Hey! I found Alpha Fence. Oh, I'm gonna take all your leather, okay? Thanks, guys. I tame one of you. Are you floating? You're floating. <laughs> uh oh. That freaking chicken followed me all the way up here. Goodness free. So it's poor Al Alphabets. Right, we painted our guy. Well, oh, I need that. Um, how do I get rid of stuff? What do I not need? Need not everything. <laughs> what do I get rid of?
Let's see if we can find this guy. That'll be my quest for this video. Oh, it looks like we're near somebody's village. I don't want to be here. <laughs> Hey, some pink gas. Oh, they, are they sleeping? They're sleeping. Oh, I love legs. I need those. <coughs> ah, screw me. Not a fighter. Oh no, I'm here again. Gonna die, gonna die. This guy. Oh, it must be a cave. Okay, that's how we got stuck down here to begin with. This does not look good. I don't want it to go down. Let's put this. Sure, we'll figure that out later. Well, it's another one of those magical things. Oh well. Gotta go back in. That's another exit. Oh boy. It's gonna be a puzzle. Mm. Okay. So, we don't know how to do the electrical things. I'm really confused. Let's 
see. Just like that. I don't like the sound of that. Well, apparently I took the torch. <laughs> Lodestone? Dragon balls. Oh, that's a cave dragon. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Uh, hello? <laughs> yeah, happy days. to hide in an abandoned watchtower nearby. I think I saw that on the way. Okay. So what Grob has told us is that he used to have a human friend that he made all the equipment for. He hasn't done it in a long time and doesn't remember how, so maybe we can find that equipment. He also used to make chests, and in order to access those chests, you need keys. And to make keys, you need key graphite, which I've been collecting a lot of, so hopefully we can do okay. Uh, and it, apparently we now ha are able to craft keys, so we just got a crafting thing. And uh, let's go try to find that tower and see if there's anything there and that's where we'll end the episode so we'll go ahead and do that next and then see what we can find this is apparently his room not where i'm trying to go that's some big cloth dude i'm gonna take your torch what do you think about that Ha. I guess I might want to go this way. That shield's kind of cool looking. I like that. See if I can make it over to that tower without dying. This game is very unforgiving when it comes to fights. Yeah, this is the tower, right? It's gotta be it. Look, there's one of the orbs. I don't know how to use this place. I know, I see. Why do I not know how to climb ladders? Double jump. The chest up there, how do I get to it? Hmm. Maybe figuring this out. Not many instructions on how to do things. Can't climb.
Oh, wait a minute. Okay. That did not help me. Ah, okay. I'm gonna come back down now. Okay. Day one six six. Today I met up with some leaders of the vault villages. I've been charting the shortest routes that connect those ancient places for months now. The vaults are very important for the bright future ahead. I have also found out that crafting a power brew gets you inside any village. Chiefs really love them. Vaults, what are those? Sounds like there might be some answers there. Maybe they could provide a place to live. <laughs> it's going to become the next fallout. I should visit those. This human marked them on this map. Definitely check that out. So let's see. Gear. Equipment. Found some leg guards, which are better than mine. Oh, wait. Oh, I wear those on top of what I've already got. Yes. Okay. Down with that. Some crafting items, soft glass, which sandstone and dry clay make. If I can make one. Tells me how to make the pants and how to make the tune. I don't think I have the tune. Ah, uh, wait a minute. So I need lots of stiff rope and stuff off. Wait, lots of stiff rope. Okay. Need to find hay. I haven't seen any hay. Oh, I need another graphite to make a key. Thought I'd have enough. Ew. Let's go up another level. Stuck. Monkey butts. Advanced slingshot. Body more than pebbles. That's a bow. adventures ahead so these are like the preliminary quests I think we just finished what does that one do we knew about that already didn't we why would I need to hit that one Key. Need to make the key. Alright, that's save it. Well, this has been the third episode of Pine. Been a lot of fun. Uh, we did discover that the mammoth, or whatever kind of giant mammoth creature he is, 
I uh, did know a human that was on the island and he lived in an outpost and we went ahead and went there and collected all of his old equipment, geared up, found a bow and some armor pretty much. Uh, I need to find it, make a key. So we need to find some more key graphite so we can open a chest. It looks like it takes eight graphite. We got a few more recipes so we can make some new things. So we are finally starting to progress. We got, looks like the main starting storyline quest out of the way so we can get deeper it gave us some stuff about how we're going to get further into the game blah 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 um but it looks like the adventure is now beginning uh fighting is still a pain those little chicken guys can take me out in like three hits uh, but it takes me a lot of work so i gotta figure out a better way to do combat uh, but other than that it's a lot of fun i wish i could stay out of combat and just becomes everybody's friend maybe there's a way to do that but it looks like allying one faction may help you turn against another one at the same time i don't like that idea but just how things work uh we're going to continue playing pine and uh, get back next time on episode four i'm going to take a break for the night and we'll see you next time this is average gamer never said i was good just a little average till next time Bye bye